Hey, Kings of Dragons, Brian King 551 here. We are back with another Michigan Wolverines breakdown video for the basketball team. Obviously, this is the game from a couple nights ago against Iowa. We're going to go right into it, and let's talk about it. This is the uh, bounce-back win after Ohio State, and let's just go right into this game. So, obviously, we can see the stat line right here for the Michigan Wolverines, and then we'll go right into Iowa and um, the main stats for both teams. So this man right here, I want to talk about him, Mo Moza D. Oh, pardon me. I accidentally crossed out his number. Oh, did it again. I apologize for that. Moza Diabate right here, this guy right here, 28 points. He bounced back, had a great game with that many. Hunter Dickinson with 14, Brooks with 13, Jones with 11, Kobe Bufkin with 10. So not entirely bad with our guys, but they need to step it up a little more. I said this season might be over. Hell, this season might not be over. So let's go right into Iowa here and let's talk about them. So Murray had 23. That was their lead scorer. Then they got McCarthy with 13, 12, 11. Four, eight, and a couple other guys. So let's see what the reason was for Michigan coming alive and winning this ball game. Let's see. So we got the field goal percentages pretty the same here 50, 44, 6% difference. The three point shooting, great, terrific, terrible game for both teams. That's what I tell you about. So, I mean, 20, 22, terrible, 78.3, 65, shooting from the line, better. Now, I said before, these three numbers are the numbers you have to watch out for. If this is good and this is good and you're shooting okay here, but um, this team is shooting good here, they're shooting good here, and they're shooting good here, they're going to win. But, see, this is not significant, so these two kind of don't really matter. This one matters because it is – um about a, a six point difference there and a 6% difference. And that really matters there. This one definitely does matter. It is a 78 to a 65. So that is, that is a 13% difference there. So that, that really mattered. Those two matter more. Um, Basically, you can say it's a 19% difference in total here versus these two. So that's what really matters. Obviously, let's look at total rebounds, 40 to 37. They obviously had three more offensively. We had 10, 21 assists, 16 assists, four blocks, five blocks, seven steals, three steals, 11 turnovers each. So I don't know. I don't know what the game does, but that's basically – another game for the Michigan Wolverines and how they are struggling here and they uh, won one. So that that's what I like to see. Obviously we'll be playing um, Wisconsin tomorrow in a battle 14 and 10. They are seven right now. I don't know if they can get into March madness. It's going to be close. We'll see what happens with them. And pretty much that's what happened with the Michigan Wolverines. I mean, they are they are improving. Let's go right into the highlight reel here. And that's all I'll have to say about for Michigan tonight. And we'll go right into them. So let's look into the first half. Let's see what we got here. I was up four. Not a big problem. Oh, Caleb Houston with a nice steal. Let's go. Go up there. Yeah. Just like football, baby, we say, hell no, we are ready to battle again. Moza Diabate goes right into it. Now, I'm not trying to say, oh, just like football for every uh, game. Oh, the great steal there goes right to Diabate, and he goes right into a nice dunk there. It's just there are certain games that are like, oh, just like football, we're, we're going to beat you and stuff because we want to be aggressive. They called that an N1. I don't know if Hunter Dickinson necessarily touched him there. Let's go back on that. So let's go right here. Let's see. I don't know. He may have landed in his shooting space, and that's why he fell down. So I guess they'll count that. But it, it's not that entirely that bad. 
Brand John Jr. needs to get better. I mean, he would, did so well last year, and now he's just terrible. Second half, we go right into the second half. Ooh, Caleb Houston in the corner. Oh, my gosh, that was a terrible shot right off the glass stuff. Brooks, not going to happen. Iowa taking it, that one. Go to Caleb Houston, Diabate. What are you doing? Oh, but still a nice hook shot in and tie game now. Again, you have Caleb Houston or someone else like Eli Brooks. Go right to them or go back to Hunter Dickinson, who's going to battle through and give us some points. That's what I like to see from our players there. Oh, I mean, and they called it an M1 and Hunter Dickinson is frustrated again there. Pivots, pivots. This man, um, oh, Jones just leaves him wide open on an island. That was a huge mistake there. Now, I'm not saying that Jones is necessarily the best three-point shooter, but nonetheless, good rebound there and able to get it in. And that's um, how we like to play. So now we're up to 50 to 48. Let's go, Diabate. Oh, he says, hey, I don't want to jump up there and reach a foul, so I'll just let them score. But come on, you got to be aggressive. Up six. Oh, Jones. Um, good deflection. Who was that? Uh, Howard? I believe that was Howard. Okay, Hunter Dickinson. Nice shot there. Go out, Demon. Or drive, spin. Oh, good, good, good pump fake and able to get it in. I like the way he plays. Who was that? Kobe Buffkin out there. And oh, Caleb Houston back to Diabate. Kobe Buffkin cuts, but Diabate says, hey, let me shoot. I can do it. And he, he does pretty well. Oh, good steal by Kobe Buffkin there. And he goes up and says, hey, let me jam it down and throw it down on your throat. And he says, let's do it. Ooh. Able to get past our guys. Let's see. Ibate, oh, pretty solid defense, but hey, what are you going to do? Two minutes left, a minute left in this game. We have them. We're up five. We need to close this game out somehow. Hunter Dickinson, good D there, but able to get a rebound. You're just going to let him dunk on you. Wonderful. 81. So I believe we hit a three at the end here. Oh, no, 82. Okay, that was the end of the game there. But I don't I don't know how we got 84. Hang on, let me just bring up the stats one more time. That was the end of the game right there. That was the fastest um game ever. So where is this game? 84. So I guess we got pushed on the last play there and we were able to get two more shots in and uh, that's how the game ended. So pretty much that's all I have to say about the Michigan Wolverines and um, this game until next time, guys, don't forget to stay radical. I'll see you in the next one.